Welcome to the Manifestation Bay podcast. My name is Katherine Zinkina, and I'm a manifestation expert, master mindset coach, and multiple seven-figure entrepreneur. I'm obsessed with helping you achieve everything that you once thought was impossible. If you're looking to massively up-level your life, your finances, your relationships, your productivity and success, then you have come to the right place. My goal in this podcast is to help you see the infinite potential within yourself to be, do, and have anything that your heart desires. Think of this podcast as your weekly dose of mindset development to help you maximize who you are and where you're going. Leave it to me to provide you with the tools, the resources, the strategies, and teachings that you need to manifest a reality wilder than your wildest dreams. I know we're about to have so much fun together, so thank you so much for pushing play today, and now let's begin. Hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome back to another episode of the Manifestation Bay podcast. I hope you're doing amazing today. I recently sat down with a few of my amazing, like so inspiring, I have no other words for them, past graduates of my signature program, the Manifestation Babe Academy, that breaks down the entire A through Z of manifestation and shows you how to embody the principles that make you a manifestation master for life. Because we all have permanency when it comes to transformation. Am I right? Like who needs temporary shifts when it's possible for you to live every single version of your dream life from now until the day you die? Sounds amazing, right? (laughs) Well, it's possible. So in this three-part series uh, that I'm hosting to celebrate the official launch of the Manifestation Babe Academy, March 2023 round, aka it's happening very soon, aka next week, I'm interviewing three completely different and unique students who all have very different desires. They have very different views of what it means to live their dream life and extremely different backgrounds. But one thing that they have in common is that their desires became a real life reality for them as a result of what they learned inside of MBA. I'm interviewing an animal rescuer, a firefighter, and a gut health nutritionist. So we got a widespread variety over here, all showing you that it doesn't matter what your background is or what you want in life. The power of manifestation can be applied anywhere and everywhere. So thank you to Allison, to Jess, to Caitlin for being the powerhouses behind that example and being that embodiment of this message that I'm so excited to share with you. In part one of the MBA transformation series, I have today animal rescuer Jess, who first of all has a heart of gold and a pure example of what it means when good people have good money and are ridiculously resourced. For someone like her, the more success she experiences in her business and life, the more animals that she can rescue. And I'm not saying that you only should have more money to only use it for these noble causes, because that can also be super limiting for people who are just starting out and just want to be able to like not worry about checking the prices of groceries before checking out or moving into their very first home for the very first time, let alone save the freaking whole planet. You know what I'm saying? But knowing that when your needs are taken care of, you're able to move above that and take care of so many others. That's where the serious magic happens. The world becomes a better place because your world became a better place. I'm so excited for you to hear what's possible for you through hearing a story like Jess's and seeing where she started and where she is today. Because of her manifestation successes, animals in need get to benefit directly, which is so fucking awesome. As you're listening to this episode, if you're like, oh my God, this is exactly what I need. I see myself in Jess. I know I have similar struggles. I want this kind of transformation for myself as well. 
then you're in luck because the next round of the Manifestation Babe Academy opens up next Monday, March 6th for the very first time this year. Finally. And this time I'm making some epic updates to the program to make it even more effective. If that's even imaginable, which sometimes I'm like, how? Right. (laughs) And then I figure it out and I do it. MBA is my art and I can't wait for you to experience timeline collapses and quantum leaps inside of this 20 week long experience. You plus me for 20 weeks. I mean, we're going to have a lot of fun together showing you exactly how to manifest everything that you want into your life all happening next week. So mark your calendar, baby. You can find the wait list by going to manifestationbabe.com slash links or head over to the show notes for a direct click because I'll just add it in there as well. This is where you'll want to put your name down right now to get first dibs into the round and make sure you don't miss the super short enrollment period because I swear to God, those five days, they go by so fast. Now, let's see what Jess manifested into her life since her experience inside of MBA. All right, I got Jess on the podcast today who just showed me her little lamb baby in her house. I just about died of cuteness. Um, Jess, can you share more about why you have lambs in your house? Like that is the most epic thing I've ever seen in my life. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. So my husband and I run an animal rescue ranch and we have everything under the sun from emus to raccoons um, to little baby lambs. And this uh, particular lamb was, um, the mom was a rescue who was bred way too young and didn't know how to take care of it. So she ended up deciding that she wanted to be a little inside lamb for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Jess was just telling me like, you know, it always pulls on her heartstrings when the mom rejects the baby or isn't ready for the baby. And I was just like, oh man, but at least they're so lucky to have you, Jess. So that makes me so happy to hear. So um, Jess, you were in the OG round of the remake and ex- totally expanded version of MBA, which makes me so happy um, because you've been through that first version and time has passed since then. So I can't wait to hear about what has happened in your life since MBA. But before we talk about that, let's kind of paint the picture of where you were before you discovered MBA. Like what got you to that point? How did you know that you needed to be in the program? Like what was going on in life where you were like, okay, something needs to change? Yes. So I, my story started out similar to yours. Um, I grew up in poverty. I was, had a single mom. Um, I kind of was introduced, I guess, to the manifestation concept through the secret. Um, but I never really like dug in. I always had this pull. I always knew, like I'm, I'm very intuitive and I always had the intuition that I wanted to be, um, I wanted to, to have that be more of an ability in my life. And so I, um, I was actually in rich babe Academy way back when (laughs) even more OG (laughs) of OG and, um, and I, I loved it. And to be honest, Catherine, like your style in the beginning did not vibe with me. I was like luxury. Like I'm so simple. I'm like, Oh my gosh, like this girl. And I found you through James Wedmore. Actually, I, uh, I bought his program quite a while ago and did the payments. It was like the first year he offered payments and was so stoked that I could be able to get into that program. And I, you know, like my bestie Catherine and like would talk about you a lot. Uh-huh. And so I found you through that. And at first I'm like, yeah, this girl, I don't know. But then I was like, all right, I, she's just got something about her. There's clearly this energy that I I want. I want to have that connection. I like, you were such an inspiration to me, even though I wasn't all about like the Chanel bags and the luxury, but yeah. it turns out like, it very much am about luxury. <laughs> we just <laughs> took a trip to Hawaii and the whole time I'm like, yes, like, I can't wait till we get out of our Airbnb and like actually get to like the resort for a minute. And we had so much fun there. And I very much am about luxury, which, um, anyway, but I didn't, I just want to say that because I don't want people who maybe are on a different path. Like I am like, I'm very country. I'm barefoot half the year. Like it just wasn't the same thing. And if I had let that keep me from joining manifestation, babe, my life would not look the way it does today. And so just getting past that, like, if you don't love the way somebody talks on a podcast or you don't like somebody's face or whatever it is, like, don't <laughs> let that be a hindrance to, to having MBA, um, be just like, it's like, it feels like it's a part of my cells at this point. Like, mm-hmm. Every, like we listen to it in the car, like my husband's on board now. It's just been yes. transformation every single way in my life. So um, to paint the picture, 
Uh, I, I have always, so what my heart is for the animals, obviously, and that takes a lot of money. And so my whole life, I've just been like working to support my animal rescue and that like, I know that needed to change because I needed my impact to be bigger. And so I, I was trying to do some work with, um, I'm an herbalist and I, um, in, in person, I have a lot of in-person retreats where we teach women how to build lives they're in love with that are more self-sustained and more nature-based. And especially now with what's going on in the world, that's become a really big deal. And so Mm -hmm. I was trying so hard to like get out of the mindset of like, I'm just this country girl who can hardly use a computer to like, I'm going to be the James (laughs) of the self-sufficiency space. Like, yes. (laughs) <laughs> so um, that's how I found you in my life in the beginning um, of MBA and, and RBA really was very poverty mindset based. Like I didn't have any idea how to do a lot of the self work. There wasn't the component of, um, of how, like, I mean, like shadow work and breath work and the, like, I knew that it was scientific, but I didn't really understand like the way to work it from like, um, sorry, my dog is underneath the table. <laughs> wanting to be a part of this podcast. So anyway, I just didn't understand um, all of the components that it takes and how easy the recipe really is to have that. It's not some pie in the sky thing. And so we were broke. We were in debt. We were living in a rented house that we were having to move from. And we're so stressed out about taking all of our animal rescue and moving that. Like It's very difficult to find housing in Montana, even in the best of circumstances, let alone when you've got a hundred animals. Yeah. Just a lot of stress, a lot of poverty mindset. my relationship with my husband obviously was very stressed out by that. And I just was struggling, like struggle bus for sure. When I first started. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Can I just say that you, first of all, thank you so much for bringing that up because I know that my life looks a certain way on social media. And I just want to make sure that everyone understands that you get to build your dream life. I do not teach you how to build my dream life. (laughs) So, um, and it's funny because you say, it turns out I love luxury. I was talking to Makosi, the Royal Shaman yesterday. She's going to be in a future episode coming up really soon. And we were talking about money and luxury and how um, her shamanistic perspective of what luxury means, where some people think it means Chanel bags, when actually it means having choice like the ability to have choice in life, that is true luxury. And so that can look like freaking anything. Like if you want to own an animal rescue and have it be the most successful animal rescue on this planet and just thrive in that as your life, like, fuck yeah. That makes me so happy for whoever wants that. That makes me so happy for you, Jess. And I love that that's your dream and the work that you're doing is making such a potent and powerful impact on this planet. So thank you for what you're doing. Um, so at what point were you like, all right, there's this program, there's Catherine, like I need to get inside. Like what was the thing that made you think to yourself, MBA is for me and I need to enroll? Because there were so many similarities that I saw in myself, regardless of like the initial hesitancy that I had of like, you literally came from nothing. Like I'm going to tear up because it's so amazing what you've done. Um, but that you had come from nothing and that you were living your dream life. And I just was so impacted by that. And, um, and have such big dreams. Like, I love how you're not getting stuck in like, no dream is too big. Like you can do whatever the fuck you want. Like that is such a powerful vibe. And that just drew me in. And like, I think I ha- probably had, I think the initial payment was like 222. And at the time I probably had like 500 bucks in my bank account. I was like, this is, this is not make sense. This is not reasonable, but I didn't listen to that. And I'm so glad I didn't because there is a tremendous, it's not just like the vibe, but there's a tremendous like generational duty that we have for our ancestors and for our future generations, whether we have children or not, like we're impacting that. And that is our duty. We have these big, powerful gifts and we all do. We need to bring them to the table and like fully embrace that instead of it just being like this, like, well, I'm going to get stuck in this poverty mindset if I don't have any money in the bank. So I can't do this Mm. thing that is completely transform my life. Um, so yeah. just think I was really, really vibing on the fact that you and I have such similar backgrounds and like, um, a lot of like everything, your whole story, like really, really spoke to me. And, um, I never knew my dad growing up. And then when I did meet him, I was 30 and it turns out I'm half native American. And I always knew that. And it was so cool, like to, to have a, a piece in breaking down all of that. And so, I mean, there were so many polls, but I really just do think like, <laughs> see you <laughs> just rocking it 
was really powerful for me. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you got into the program. At what point did you start to notice like, oh my God, things are starting to shift. Was there anything significant, like a breakthrough you had, or was it just in general, like you looked around and all of a sudden things were shifting in your life? I can't pinpoint an exact moment where I was just like, damn, this is, this is working. I'm doing the work and it's actually coming into fruition. Um, but I do remember I, I was so proud of myself when I got my little certification after the 16 weeks, cause I, <laughs> I take all sorts of programs. I'm like constantly trying to grow and learn and, and, and follow my mentors who are being successful in the things I want to be successful with. And I'm like, damn girl, like you got through the program, you had your homework in every week on time. And it was just so engaging for me. Like your teaching style is awesome. The content is even in the first round was so much more value. Like, I can't believe that you haven't doubled, tripled, quadrupled your price. And I know you hear that all the time, but that is awesome. <laughs> I'm not just saying that to kiss ass. I'm like, it is so much value and it is so easy to complete the program and go through the work. And now I'm on my third round and every single round I have more breakthroughs. I learn more about myself. I learn more about the process. And I remember the first round I was like, getting kind of pissy. I'm like, Catherine, I want to know all about quantum breakthroughs and like quantum leaps. Like, how do I make this happen? <laughs> and, um, and the first round, and then like at the end of it, I had seen all this stuff and I hadn't even really realized that it was occurring. It was just kind of like growing up. Like you, you said something funny about like planting a cactus seed. You're like, I don't even know. Do cactuses have seeds? And I'm a gardener <laughs> and I'm like into all that. And I was like, damn, I planted the seed and now it's growing. And it was so cool to realize that like midway through the program, I was starting to see little shifts and like really seeing shifts within myself and getting frustrated that my spouse wasn't on board yet. I wasn't having these like big quantum leaps yet. And then I think the, what it was is I, it was during COVID and they had this PPP program where you could apply for it and you'd get, um, you'd get money to support yourself, your home-based business or self-based business. And so I applied for it and I was like, okay, that was just free money. I just got eight grand. And I was like, okay, this shit is like actually working. And there were so many things that were just coming to fruition. Like when I was trying to um, go through the questions and like, what all has happened? I couldn't stop writing. I was like, and this, and this, and a truck mm -hmm. in the exact same color we manifested, like all the things that were happening. And now it's just normalized. Like yeah. I just expect it. Um, and the big breakthrough I had, I think is it came in the second time I went through was realizing the four steps and the letting go of it, like not giving a shit how or why uh, it just is going to happen and having faith in that and being able to really embody that was, that was a really powerful moment for me. And now I just expect it all day, that, every day. It doesn't matter how it looks. That is so powerful. And I love that you're an example of like the fact that there is lifetime access. And I encourage you to repeat and repeat and repeat because it's not like I went through MBA once, like MBA is 16 years or however many years it's been of just compounding practices, information, repetition to where my unconscious, like you said, it's so normalized. It's so like, yeah, this is, of course it's going to happen. No big deal. Um, but at one point in my life, it was a freaking big deal. And I was like, I have no idea how this is going to happen. And now I look back and I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. So you've done three rounds since, which I'm obsessed with. That's amazing. That's how I intend it to be. It's not like you have to keep going through it, but I encourage for anyone who wants to keep expanding and wants to really cement this stuff. The first time there's a lot of freaking information. There's a lot that I deliver. There's a lot of just a lot. And then the more that you go through it, you're like, wait a second, that makes way more sense now. It's like, it's integrated into my unconscious. This is something that just naturally shows up for me. This is how I just am. It's part of my embodied being. Um, so since the first round in 2021, the OG big MBA round, what has life been since then? What has shifted for you? Where are you in your life today because of it? I am kind of in awe of it. And, and then my, my, my mind will go back to, well, you have so much farther to go. And I'm like, that isn't even like, you're, you're always going to be on that path. You're always going to be doing the work But right now, like the gratitude. And that was another huge component for me is I've always been like a very grateful person and always been positive, but to be able to just like walk through my day, like I'm so grateful for my, my dog. I'm so grateful for the sunlight on my skin, like to just every little thing that I can be grateful for the practice of gratitude was also huge. But so my life right now, 
Um, we went from being so stressed out about where we were going to live and run our animal rescue operation, constantly using credit cards, um, having a lot of strife in our relationship. Uh, I could just go on and on and on, um, health issues, stuff like that. I've had autoimmune issues since I was a kid, all sorts of things, um, to now like having a, a, we now own a $1.5 million property where we run our animal rescue branch. We were able to um, get a interest free loan for part of the down payment. We manifested a huge amount of um, an investment from a gentleman. I, I trade Forex and this investment allowed us to have like quadruple our income overnight. We, um, I can't even begin to like say all of the different things that have shifted and look different. Like we are completely debt free other than our home. Um, we, <laughs> my, my business, like I'm, I'm slacking so hard and it's a hundred percent me. The universe is like trying to kick me in the ass, like <laughs> just get all your content. And then I'm like getting in my own head. Like, is it good enough? Is it worth the money? Like, are people going to want to pay it? And I'm moving through that, but, um, uh-huh. I have so and my answer is yes. The universe yes. says yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have so many people that are like, get your shit together so I can take your course already. Like, and um, we've had grants in our animal rescue that have allowed us to expand that and take in more animals and rescue and rehab more animals. Um, we've manifested everything from like the the free money from the government to um, a truck in our exact price range and our exact color, the exact truck we wanted, low miles, like all of that for the animal rescue. Um, it has just been nuts what we've been able to do, like huge, huge amounts of money that I've never even thought I would see in my life back in the day now are just normal. You have such a glow about you as you <laughs> speak on that. It is I know you're proud of yourself. And like, that's just an indescribable feeling when you set your mind to something and it just works out in your life. It's, it's a feeling that I so wish for every single person on this planet, because it's just the most indescribable thing. A lot of people think you need to have confidence first and then you'll be successful, but it's actually by doing the things that you know that you need to be doing that actually builds the confidence. Like when you set your mind to something and you take action on it, even in the face of fear, even in the face of like, I don't know, is this good enough? Is it not? Is it going to work out? Like going towards something, no matter what teaches your unconscious mind that it's a hundred percent safe for you and possible for you. And then doing it and looking back is just the most solidified feeling in the world. So I'm so proud of you. Um, if you, let's say that somebody that you love care about no needs MBA is sitting on the fence right now. And they're just like, you know, having thoughts of like, I don't know, is this going to work? And I'm, I feel so nervous. I feel so scared, anxious, this and that, like, what if it doesn't work for me? Blah, blah, blah. You know, all those thoughts that people have, what would be your advice to them? You just got to get out of your head and into your heart. Like, honestly, <laughs> it is a game changer. I cannot say enough about it. And you're, you're going to have to to at some point take the leap to start living the life of your dreams and to have that be impactful in huge ways. And so the sooner you can do it, the better, like you're not getting any younger. <laughs> so I just say, Truth. Let's, do let's do it. <laughs> it's like the, the one thing we kind of have a challenge in manipulating is time. And of course we can change our mindset around time, but time is still passing by. Like l- the lifetime is going to end at some point. So I love that you said that. Jess, you are such a gift to this planet. I am so excited for you. Happy for you. Like, thank God that you exist because there's so many animals out there in the world that need you and that are so grateful to have you and are so blessed because of you. And I'm not just saying just the animals, people too. (laughs) Like you're an incredible human. So thank you so much for sharing your story. And I cannot wait to see what else you manifest. Right back at you, Catherine. You're a gem. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. If you absolutely loved what you heard today, be sure to share it with me by leaving a review on iTunes so that I can keep the good stuff coming your way. If you aren't already following me on social media, come soak up the extra inspiration on Instagram by following at Manifestation Babe or visiting my website at manifestationbabe.com. I love and adore you so much and can't wait to connect with you in the next episode. In the meantime, go out there and manifest some magic.